What's up guys? We just got back to the property to drop off a couple things and we got the tractor up here. Uh, just unloaded it and something cool, I was gonna do an unboxing video on this, but uh, I ended up not. But it's the Woodmax WM or WH 8H. Or no, there it is, WM8H. Uh, wood chipper and it's supposed to do up to eight inches but uh this is mainly going to be used just for uh like the trails cleaning up all that stuff uh just so we don't have to burn quite as much because as you guys can see the woods here most of them are pretty small stuff you know we, i mean there are the occasional big tree but uh we'll burn most of what we're clearing for the actual um camp you know campsites or whatever but uh, the trails, probably not gonna wanna burn all that, you know, to carry it back and forth out of the trails. So we'll just take the tractor in behind the other machine that we have and chip it all up and kind of, you know, have a nice walking trail uh, ground, you know, with the mulched up uh, wood chips. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring this to the back. Like all of this uh, trimming and stuff like that, all that would easily be chipped up and it would make it much, much quicker. I've been trying to figure out if we're going to be able to get the camper back here uh, because we're about an hour away from this property so trying to bring the camper up that way we can work for a few days or you know the weekend and then uh, you know go back home that way we're not driving back and forth every single day but these trees might need to be cleared out just a little bit more just so we're not you know scraping the sides and then up here I think over to the right is where we're going to end up parking the camper for a little bit. So I think I'm gonna have to widen up this little corner here just to be able to make that turn. Um, or this corner so I can back it in there. So we're gonna leave the tractor right there and the other piece of equipment that we got. So it's the Kubota KX033. And this thing's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be able to get into the trails. It's gonna be able to, um, you know, knock down these smaller trees like this and, uh, you know, dig trenching and stuff like that. Um, just to try and save a little bit of money. That's the other cool thing. It has this front windshield that you can open. But uh, so one thing I talked about in the other videos is all these vines and stuff. Uh, the, you know, the whatever they're called, thorn bushes. Um, obviously, we got as much as we could with the um, tractor and the bush hog. But with this, we'll be able to actually, you know, get the bucket in between these trees and kind of scrape out the roots. That way, you know, they're not just growing right back whenever... Um, you know a month goes by um i do think i'm going to leave all these thorn bushes just because that's just going to be woods and kind of a buffer for the trails and everything like that
right, it's been a while since I've been on an excavator, so that was like the first 15 minutes of uh, reoperating one. But um, anyways, I think this looks a lot better. Um, I think that we could probably get the bush hog through here. I might could even clean it up a little bit more. I'm gonna try and come back tomorrow. This is gonna be a two-part video. Um, but also I've got the 24 inch bucket on here, so I might put the 12 inch bucket on and then I can kind of get closer to the trees or in between the trees. Um, but yeah, it's still just, I don't know, in between the trees, like some are even climbing up the tree. So it's kind of hard to get all those down. But uh, I think I can at least work with it. Um, and then I think maybe this weekend I will try to do that section right there. And tomorrow I'm gonna try and tackle those. And then we'll start on the trails and the fun part. So, uh, all right guys, next day here, I'm uh, gonna get this thing warmed up. It's like 32 degrees, which I'm sure for some of you, that's probably actually pretty warm. But uh, here in South Carolina, that's pretty cold. And tonight and Sunday, is supposed to get down to like the low 20s so all right well that was weird the uh gopro said it had a half battery but then it literally just shut off and said it was dead so i'm gonna just be here all day today it's 10 a.m i'm gonna see what i can get done i got a full tank of uh diesel um as you guys saw earlier in the video started clearing out all these little briar bushes uh and the vines and everything i'm gonna finish that get a time lapse of that and then depending on what time it is um i'm gonna kind of I'm gonna try and start taking out some of this just to widen it up. So I'll take some measurements. This road's gonna end up being 24 feet wide and I think right now it's like between 10, maybe 12 in some spots. Um, like right here might be a little bit wider, but I might try and widen this up just a little bit. Uh, Cause like I said, I wanna be able to get the camper in here without scraping everything up. And I wanna be able to turn into here and park it kinda where the truck is, maybe a little bit closer. Um, so that's the plan. Let's go ahead and jump into the excavator and let's see what we can do. Alright, let's try that. Let's see if that works. But uh, yeah, I was working on the left side a little bit, just kind of getting a feel for everything. I'll just put all this right there. And then, um, but yeah, so I still have the 24 inch bucket on. Dig out like three to six inches so you can actually get all the room. 
tape measure, but I know that it's uh, short right here. Uh, but anyway, basically, I'm just trying to kind of push these over like that. These smaller ones. And even these ones. Try and grab and just kind of pull right out the ground. And I've just been dropping them. Thank you. 
right, so I'm gonna stop here to pick up all these little twigs and stuff. It was taking a while um, and it's getting real cold. But uh, so started here and I ended about right, where is it at? About right there. It's kind of hard to see. Um, but I widened it a couple feet, maybe a few feet. Um, it's looking pretty good. So I'm gonna try and come back tomorrow if I can and then do the rest of the, the way down. Um, and then I think I'm going to take out this little section here. That way I'm able to turn into here back up where my truck is. Um, but let me walk down here. So this is the pile for today. I'd say that's pretty big. It's about as tall as me, about six foot tall, 20 foot wide. Um, some of these trees are even taller, but, uh, the main thing that I'm happy about, and this honestly took way longer than I thought, but I cleaned out all these briars and you can see just how much more open that that looks. I don't know if you, if y'all watched the last video, but you'll see it's just really overgrown. It looks just like this. Um, cause all those are briars as well. But, uh, anyways, that's going to be the it, end of this video and next video, I think I'll just do part two, widening up the driveway and then probably starting on the trails after that. So hope you guys are enjoying.